Okay guys, um, yeah, I haven't done a video for a while. I have some cards printed, you can get these done. I just found it cheaper than, you know, buying the square cards. Because you can buy them in bulk, like, you know, 250 say, for about £30. So it does actually work out cheaper than buying them individually. And also, as you can see, I've printed, I can get that up there. See how I've got um, a centre dot in the middle? And I've outlined there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put these out for sale. Um, or maybe I'll show you how, you how you can make them and get them printed yourself. And sent to you. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Okay. Now, I know I'm usually using my iPad. But lately I've been doing it on card. And I've been playing around. Um, there's a technique that's... Uh, uh, Zen, like Zen flower, I quite like, but I call it uh, Zen floret because a floret is like a group of flowers, and you know, like you see on um, cauliflower, for example. But <clears throat> as with any meditation, you'd normally pause at the beginning, but I'm just going to get into it. Basic rule of thumb pen down, don't rush and try and close purposefully that's the key it's the start and the end of the drawing of the line it's a mindful line so I'm being mindful where I start and where I finish and yeah I'm not really rushing just watching my pen and coming down to the finish That's actually what makes the meditation is because you're focusing on your pen stroke and where it's finishing. So, and you can notice I'm purposely not making straight lines there. I can put a few dots in there, I suppose. Give it a bit of um, dimension. This is always my favorite bit here. Boom. Just put some of these in. Oh yeah. So I'm looking where I'm starting and just brushing it up. Just being mindful of my strokes all the time. That is the principle of these meditations. There you go. Yeah. A long time ago I decided that I can't draw circles, so I purposely don't make them look like a circle. <laughs> There's no point. I'm no great artist, but this is not about art. It's just about getting into that meditation mindfulness state especially with all this stress that's going on at the moment probably could do with a bit of time out with this coronavirus a few dots in there yeah yeah I hope you're all keeping safe out there Especially if you've got underlying illnesses, like me. Really can't afford that virus right now. I hope they bring out a cure. And we're not all just in a waiting list. If you know what I mean. Yeah, so the basic principle. Pen down. Think about the start. Just watch your stroke. Don't rush it. And try and finish where you want to finish, in this case where I started. Um, that's the basic principle of this mindfulness drawing. I know that on the internet you see these really glamorous designs that people have done. And it's really easy to look at that and think, well, I can't do that. 
and you just don't think that you can produce such great artwork well this is not artwork that's what you need to keep telling yourself you're doing it for the meditational value of the exercise and you know you if it comes out looking like a masterpiece great if it doesn't great it really doesn't make any difference I find a lot of these Zen drawings people are trying to get these masterpieces out and that really defeats the object of the exercise it's not about producing art it's purely for the meditational value if you think about the monks who did the you know the sand drawings and stuff it's done in sand because it's not permanent it you know and I, I even believe that after they spent hours doing their meditation drawings in the sand they actually um, cleaned the sand afterwards because it's not there to be admired it was there to, purely for their exercise the, the mindfulness exercise and um, that really is the core I believe principle of Zen drawing so oh, that was interesting normally I'll go around that way but I always find when I come to here I can't see where I'm going to finish but I went around that way and I could see weird give myself a little tip there haven't I yeah going behind I'll come down here yeah so where's the start just looking at my pen stroke I really don't care behind oh, you see, you see. I, I call this Zen Florit and I actually bought the domain name Zen Florit because I was thinking about just doing Florit sort of type drawings I love just drawing these flowers um, but so I like the term Zen Florit there you go you can go all day doing this couldn't you um, now what I like to do is add my circles again I can't draw circles so I don't call them circles they're like bubbles so I'll even go mad and might do that just to give it you know going around that way does help me because I'm, I'm right handed it does seem to be paying off because I can see where the pen finishes which is always good I might draw a squiggly one now so if you're like me and you can't draw circles I mean I, can, I am getting better at them let's try and draw one but if you're like me and you can't really draw circles then don't just make them like that there you go so that's basically all I need to do and I, to get myself into the meditational zone and then what I've done on the back of my card do that you can see the smudges there just dry that a little bit is on the back I just put my name because it was done by me what's the date today third I'm English so I do it this way 20 and I might write some notes on how I felt in the meditation um, I forgot to set my intention which I need to talk about at some point you do need to set yourself an intention but because I'm not in the video mode I did, I've just completely forgot um, you 
could put your little stamp in here somewhere. Maybe here. Like so, and now I could color that as well, and that would be a complete new meditation. Or I could get my pencil and start and start adding some um, shading with the pencil, which is really good fun. But I normally tend to do that later on in the day. I do like this meditation that I would tend to do in the morning, and then maybe later on I would I would do some coloring, and then I'd come back again and do some shading. So I'm splitting the meditation up into into parts rather than doing it all in one go. Unless I wanted to sit here for an hour or so. Uh, but I tend to do try and keep my meditations down to about 10 minutes um, and come back to them later on. So it's never really finished, really. Um, I'll just come back to them and treat the next phase as a meditation. So there you go. Be good out there. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a catch up, really. Um, just saying hi and be good out there. And most importantly, stay safe. Stay indoors if you can and uh, do some mindfulness meditation take care